Last year, the government stressed the need to improve the development of the country's infrastructure in order to realize rapid economic growth. That decision meant more money would be spent in the construction of roads and railways at the expense of other key sectors like education and health. The health sector has largely been funded by development partners in Western countries. But this is about to change across the East African region. Development partners are reducing their funding levels for health uh, as well as HIV and AIDS and other programs regionally and globally, also because of a number of other global challenges. This development means that the vast majority of Ugandans who have been receiving treatment from foreign aid will have to brace themselves for tough times ahead. The State Minister for Health, Dr. Chris Bariomunsi, says the ministry is working to fill the void that the donors will leave. Very soon we shall be tabling in the parliament a bill on social health insurance where we think that Ugandans should contribute to their own health. So we are looking at different options of how we can address the question of health financing so that even when it taps dry from outside, we as Ugandans we should be able to finance and meet the needs of our own health. So. The social health scheme could be the answer to ensuring access to quality health services for all. We do appreciate the support that we receive from our partners, but we also know that we must look at issues of sustainability. Bwindi Community Hospital in Western Uganda started a similar scheme in which community members contribute a minimal sum to access health care. Each member on the scheme contributes a premium of 10,200 shillings every year and pays a fee of 2,000 shillings whenever they go to seek treatment. The health ministry is also considering asking the Ministry of Finance for more funding. Gatrick Tumusime with Kwade, NTV.